What's up everybody, 915 Mag here, hanging out with my buddy Matt. Uh, this was the same day that I picked up my acrylic tank, but we're gonna check out his uh, display tank. The valleys? Yeah. Oh, no. You see it from the side. It's like there's like a gajillion of them. And I just cut about half of them out. Because they were coming up the glass in the front. Uh huh. And they're coming in just scrape. It was easy to get them off. That's a cool good thing about it. not having them on rocks is you can take them out pretty easily. Oh man, your Gandhi is awesome. Yeah, I've had him for four years. Sometimes some of those fish are like that coral beauty is almost ten years old. Mm. Yeah, Where's he at? He's like a little Duncan's. SPS and this tank are doing really well. Um, as you can see in the last video, his fish room had a calcium reactor. He also had the dose um, going on from uh, Neptune's. Uh, and uh, nice, nice uh, frag tank and uh, lots of other fish stuff in his fish room. I really was blown away by this big chalice. He said that he got this chalice as a little piece from uh, a LFS in Arizona. Um, and now look at it. It's like the size of a dinner plate, an extra large dinner plate at that. Everything is looking really good. And uh, fish are really fat and healthy. Uh, awesome chocolate tang in here. Uh, clown fish tang. Uh, awesome uh, display. Lots of coralline algae, which is, I imagine is a pain in the butt. But as you can see, it's a bare bottom display tank. And uh, lots of uh, coral. You can see the galaxia coral right there on the far left. And that's a proper, proper placement because... You know, those of you who do not know, Galaxia Coral will destroy anything nearby. Let's go ahead and take a side view, which is really the money shot of the tank. Uh, 36 inches side boob uh, view right there, and it's looking pretty amazing right there. Um, I wish I could have did a top-down shot, but uh, this side view right here is freaking awesome, man. I really like this tank a lot. The colors are popping. Uh, it was from Bottle from Nine Stick Nate and then on YouTube. Yeah. Nobody entered, it's just me and this other guy and I won. Okay. And so, pfft. Yeah, so you got a box? yeah uh, $75 I, and I paid like $25 out of pocket, so. Oh, for shipping? Mm -hmm. For, because I wanted something else and. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. I, I went through his whole thread on um, Reef to Reef, and it's crazy. Lots of variety in this tank as far as SPS and just a nice mixed reef. If you come back in another year and take a look at this tank, you're going to see the growth just take off on this tank. The colors of the sticks, um, he's doing really good on it, and uh, everything is nice and healthy. I had a bubble coral one time, and it did good for a little bit, but... I ended up killing it off and you can see that bubble core on the far left is just happy and he has lots and lots of flow in this tank when i went over to look at matt's tank um it was during the daytime approximately 10 o'clock a.m and uh that's why it, it's running the regular schedule of daylights on but man i bet you this tank would look awesome under the blues especially those big chalices that he had and also those SPS um as you can see in the front though these are those evil pallies that I'm talking about I had in my tank in my uh, 180 I still have a little bit of these these are the gold pallies and uh they're all over the place and they're ugly but um uh, Matt felt bad having to rip them out I did and I ripped all mine out and um got rid of them in my tank you can see how his blondie over there has these streamers and it's looking really awesome. His SPS, like I said, looks awesome during the daytime. Just with the daylights on. Not even under the blues and has great color. So shout out to Matt. Doing really good right there with the SPS. Lots and lots of uh, nice pieces in this tank. And the best part is that Matt has a lot of room to expand, to grow. Um, I guess that's one of the... The good things of having a deep dimension tank, uh, everything in this tank does not look crowded at all because you have the front to grow, the back to grow, and of course up 
you can grow up. Not only that, but he has a ton of room on the sand bed to pit all kinds of things. Uh, as you see in my tank, I have my whole sand bed covered with zoas and different uh, corals. So lots of room to grow in this tank. Um, he has he doesn't have just little frags, but you can see the uh, big colonies right there. But uh, let me know what you think. I bet you this piece right here under the blues would be popping. As far as lighting is concerned, he's running the Max Spec Etherals LEDs. Um, they're looking pretty good. You can see that he has four LEDs right there. And he was also running this in his frag room, uh, fish room, which was pretty amazing. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. You can see what he did for the hanging kit, the suspension. And of course, it's also a canopy. I did like that the, everything was orange and uh, it looked pretty sweet. And this is all removable. He could just move it out the way when he wants to work on the tank. So pretty cool. I like going to other people's house to check out their reef tanks. Um, just because uh, you can see everything and how everybody else is running their own tanks. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the right side of the tank right here on the right corner check out some of the corals that is going on lots of pallies lots of LPS and uh, I bet you this piece right here would be popping also under the blues like I said this tank does have a lot of fire in here and uh, everything is looking good check out these big uh, Duncans that this clownfish is hosting pretty awesome tank is that where he got it from? no he he made it or some or installed it or something I don't know yeah, so it's something about uh, quarantine a dolphin or something like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm hoping the chalice will knock some of those zoas down. Oh, yeah, I see a Hollywood Stunner. No, those are just green uh, zoas. Yeah, they were the dragon eyes. But those, those zoas are taking the world. And then that mushroom in there is actually came as a hitchhiker inside those red uh -huh, zoas right there. there. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. There's quite a few of them in there. Starting to get a lot of color. Yeah, I hate these. Yeah, right. it was. A, I didn't know they were gonna go that fast. And by the time I realized, I was like, you know what, man, what am I gonna do now? I mean, I could take them out. But yeah. I was thinking, I might get rid of the whole rock and mm. do uh, right, rock, rock the rock enemies. Yeah. So, Your fish are nice. How many fish do you have? Let's see. You have the three amphibious, the clown, coral beauty. One damsel, and about 12 fish. I got a melanaris too. So, because yeah. I'm bare bottom, I just put a tub of sand back there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. That's his, That's his home. Yeah, this is awesome. I love the bare bottom. I like the look of sand, but man, it's so much easier. It is. Everything just blows. You have a high flow too. Yeah, I have two gyres and two Neptune waves. Mm -hmm. And I crank them up. I mean, these are probably, they probably run at 80%, so they're probably running 3,000 gallons per hour each. And then the gyres, I run them on a, like a reef crest, so they go up and down, up to 100%. Wow. So it keeps, keeps it moving. And at first, I was a little nervous, but the fish don't care since I had to reboot. So, when you crashed last time, um, why'd you crash? Because I connected to myself in the garage and the oh. salinity was off and I didn't realize it. Oh. So when I I was going to take my time and do it real nice and slow, you know, I had a nice plan, you know, and then my return pump died in here and my side of something underneath here and the return pump. I didn't realize it until I started looking at the water surface and I could see it was quite real cloudy. It was kind of weird and I started growing some algae on the back wall. What the heck's going on? I realized my pump wasn't pumping anymore or hardly at all. I said, okay, now's the time. I already had the other system running. In the garage because I was taking water out of this tank while I was doing water changes and filling up that system so it would be the same. And somehow the salinity got off out there. It was really high in salinity. And when I connected it, man, it just turned the tank white. It was bad. And so after that, I just took all the sand out, I took the corals out, I put them on the 90, fired up the 90. All the fish survived except for, I think, two damages. And most, you know, this squirrel was in the tank when it crashed. And this big squirrel was in the tank when it crashed. Yeah, and everything, cool. everything was. A lot of that stuff survived, but the uh, none of the acropora survived. And a lot of the, a lot of the, yes, like this guy was in it. You know, that big mesidium was in there. 
He came back to the the Galaxy of Head forever, too. He's kind of stopped growing, but it's good because they're pretty aggressive. So. Yeah, the sweepers probably take up that hole. Oh, yeah. That's why I put them up. Yeah. They know where we but now this chalice I had for three, four years. It stayed on the plug for the first three years, and now it's in the it's last year. Awesome. Added on a half inch on around the whole side, so it won't be long before we have to do something there. That's cool. There's a little file for So I had some aptasia, but I put some peppermint shrimps in there. There's a couple aptasia left, but the peppermint's crushing it. I put five in there. I think there's two left. Two, three. I'll get some more and put them in there. I'll just keep it down. I don't have any in the rag tank at all. Oh, okay, there's your file fish. Not sure if you ever ate an Aptasia, but that's what I bought them for. Yeah. I almost bought one, but I was like, nah, too ugly. Yeah, they're kind of ugly, but they hide, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I had a coral, uh, what you call it? CBB, copper, copper band butterfly, for okay. a long time. It was a great fish. He ate all the Aptasia. I had no problems with Aptasia. I put him in when I had an infestation. I mean, it was coming out of the gravel. This was a long time ago. I had tons of them. He ate every single one of them. And then the clown tank started harassing him. And one day I realized I couldn't see him anymore. He was on the floor. Chased him. Chased him so much he jumped out of the tank. Wow. That was a great fish. But I couldn't keep clams. I had him because he picked on the clams. Do you plan on getting any more fish? Or? Oh, yeah. I want, to put, okay, I, want to, I want a couple of designer clowns, and I'll probably keep those out there for a while. In this tank, I don't know. I'm a little leery to put stuff in because the clown tank is fairly aggressive. Mm -hmm. This is actually a, it's actually a chocolate. It's starting to transition from juvenile to adult, so its colors are changing. Really? They end up looking like uh, water browns when they're fully adult. Yeah, but this guy, the Nassau is the greatest fish of all. Man. This one? The big Nassau. Oh, Nassau Blondie? Yeah, he's a uh, real docile. And because he's docile and the biggest, comes everybody, everybody's coming for him. Tim got just got one. Too. Yeah. Oh, Tim got one too? Yeah. From Purdue? No, saltwater, saltwaterfish.com or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never ordered fish on there before. Yeah, me neither. It came in healthy? Yeah, he said he's doing okay. Cool, yeah, they're gorgeous fish. And so they're the peacemaker too. So if you have a lot of tanks and you have a big tank like that, I think it just reduces all the aggression in the tank. Because that clown will try and get after him, the fish is like, yeah, I don't think so. Dude. <laughs> and then those, they don't, they don't, those two don't bother each other, which is surprising because that one's a little aggressive too. Chocolate. Yeah, they're pretty much as good as yeah, he was, when you buy them as juveniles, they're totally yellow, like the, they look, almost look like a lemon peel. Mm -hmm. and this is so nice. It's nice. Yeah, he's, I think they use, I think he'll lose most of his yellow. He starts kind of more like his face is, his face is white. Yep, you can see the streamers. Yeah, there's the old man angel fish right there. He's and big. Had, yeah, I've had him forever. So that's the first fish we ever bought. The first tank was a, a 75 gallon. My son wanted it. I said, all right, I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it then. That's what my brother was into it. But yeah. Pulled on that 75 gallon. We did everything on 75 gallon, hang on back, skimmer, not drilled, no sump, crappy T8 lights. Fat light bulbs. Yeah, no fat light bulbs. And so miraculously, that fish survived and that clown will survive for, through all of that. Lots of nice, beautiful fish swimming around in this tank. Little Zoa Island going now. Let's go ahead and do a full tank shot. And uh, this tank, I had a lot of fun. As you can see, what I'm talking about, lots of room to pit things on the overflows, more SPS. And you guys wanted to see the filtration. Well, underneath the tank, there's nothing except storage. Uh, the piping goes into his uh, fish room, which is located in the garage. And inside of the garage is where he actually made his uh, fish room. So that's pretty awesome in itself. I'm thinking about trying to convince the wife to let me do something like that. 
Um, for me, I wouldn't have plumbing hooked up into the garage, but I'd have my own like little frag tank station or something like that. And Matt even volunteered to help me set that up if I can go ahead and convince the wife to let me do that. I think it's going to take a little bit more than just chocolate covered strawberries, but I'm working on that and I'll let you know what I'm talking about. These controllers right here, I thought were actually the uh, max spec um, gyres, but instead they're for the ethereal LEDs and uh, they're pretty cool. You can uh, connect all your lights to that and run it. It was an absolute awesome time hanging out with Matt, checking out his fish room, his main display. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a comment down below and you guys hit that subscribe button guys.